The water caltrop is any of three extant species of the genus Tropa, Tropa natans, Tropa bicornis, and the endangered Tropa rossica. It is also known as buffalo nut, bat nut, devil pod, ling nut, lincoq, ling jiao, ling kio nut, mustache nut, or singara. The species are floating annual aquatic plants, growing in slow moving water up to 5 meters deep, native to warm temperate parts of Eurasia and Africa. They bear ornately shaped fruits, which in the case of T. bicornis resemble the head of a bull or the silhouette of a flying bat. Each fruit contains a single very large, starchy seed. T. natans and T. bicornis have been cultivated in China and the Indian subcontinent for the edible seeds for at least 3,000 years. The generic name Tropa is derived from the Latin word for thistle, Calcitrapa, as also is another common name for the water caltrop. The plant's name in Japanese is Hishi, a word that is also used to mean a diamond or lozenge shape, a rhombus. The manufacturing group Mitsubishi takes its name and logo from the water caltrop. It is called Shringataka in Sanskrit, which is shortened to Shingar in Hindi language. In eastern India, the samosa of fried or baked pastry is also called shingara because its shape resembles that of the shingara fruit. The water caltrop's submerged stem reaches 3. 7 to 4. 6 meters in length, anchored into the mud by very fine roots. It has two types of leaves, finely divided, feather-like submerged leaves borne along the length of the stem, and undivided floating leaves borne in a rosette at the water's surface. The floating leaves have sawtooth edges and are ovoid or triangular in shape, 2 to 3 cm long, uninflated petioles 5 to 9 cm long, which provide added buoyancy for the leafy portion. Four petaled white flowers form in early summer and are insect pollinated. The fruit is a nut with four 1 cm barbed spines. Seeds can remain viable up to 12 years, although most germinate within the first two years. A rosette of water caltrop leaves the plant spreads by the rosettes and fruits detaching from the stem and floating to another area on currents or by fruits clinging to objects and animals. This plant should not be confused with the unrelated Eliochorus dulcis, also called a water chestnut. Eliochorus is also an aquatic plant raised for food since ancient times in China. E. dulcis is a sedge, whose round, crisp fleshed corms are common in Chinese food. The genus has an extensive fossil record, with numerous, distinctive species. Undisputed fossilized seeds have been found in Cenozoic strata starting from the Eocene throughout Europe, China and North America. The oldest known fossils attributed to the genus, however, are of leaves from Cretaceous Alaska, referred to the species, T. borealis. Water caltrop fruits boiled water caltrop seeds water caltrop field in Tainan City water caltrop from the Japanese Agricultural Encyclopedia CK Zusetsu Investigations. Of archaeological material from southern Germany indicate that the prehistoric population of that region may well have relied significantly upon wild water caltrops to supplement their normal diet and in times of cultivated cereal crop failure, water caltrops may even have been the main dietary component. Today, water caltrop is so rare in Germany that it is listed as an endangered species. Water caltrop has been an important food for worship as prayer offerings since the Chinese Zhou dynasty. The rites of Joe mentioned that a worshipper should use a bamboo basket containing dried water caltrops, the seeds of Uriley ferox and caltrops. The Chinese herbal medicine summary indicates that water caltrop can help fever and drunkenness. In India and Pakistan, it is known as singara or panful and is widely cultivated in freshwater lakes. The fruits are eaten raw or boiled. When the fruit has been dried, it is ground to a flower called singher kayata used in many religious rituals, and can be consumed as a falahar on the Hindu fasting days, the Navratas. It was possible to buy water caltrops in markets all over Europe until 1880. In northern Italy, the nuts were offered roasted, much as sweet chestnuts are still sold today. In many parts of Europe, water caltrops were known and used for human food until the beginning of the 20th century. Today, however, it is a rare plant. Several reasons for its near extinction exist, such as climate fluctuations, changes in the nutrient content of water bodies, and the drainage of many wetlands, ponds, and oxbow lakes. T. Natans was introduced to Massachusetts around 1874 as a planting in the Harvard University Botanic Garden. Staff gardener Louis Garino took it upon himself to throw seeds into Fresh Pond and other Cambridge waterways. This came to the attention of Medford-based botanist George E. Davenport who decided to bring seeds and live plants to his friend Minor Pratt, in Concord. He and Pratt seated a pond near the Sudbury River, and he suspected Pratt conducted additional distributions. 
As early as 1879, concern was voiced by botanist Charles Sprague Sargent, director of Boston's Arnold Arboretum, that this non-native species threatened to become a nuisance, based on dense growths reported in Cambridge. Davenport confessed in an entry in the Bulletin of the Tory Botanical Club, Volume 6, page 352, I have several times had plants of troponatans that were collected in the vicinity of Boston, during the present year, brought to me for identification, and I have entertained. No doubt as to the manner of its introduction into waters outside Cambridge Botanic Garden. But that so fine a plant as this, with its handsome leafy rosettes and edible nuts. Which would, if common, be as attractive to boys as hickory nuts now are, can ever become a nuisance I can scarcely believe. Water Caltrop has been declared an invasive species from Vermont to Virginia, and is classified as a noxious weed in Florida, North Carolina, and Washington. As of 2020, both T. natans and T. bicornis have been reported growing wild in the waterways of the United States. In Australia and its state of New South Wales water caltrop has been declared a noxious weed. In 1956 T. natans was banned for sale or shipment in the United States, subject to a fine and or imprisonment. This law was repealed by H.R. 133, 116th Congress, on December 27, 2020. Fasciolopsiasis is an ailment resulting from infection by the Trematode Fasciolopsis buski, an intestinal fluke of humans, endemic in China. Taiwan, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, and India, this fluke can be transmitted via the surfaces of these and other water plants. During the metasarcarial stage in their life cycle, the larval flukes leave their water snail hosts, and swim away to form cysts on the surfaces of water plants, including the leaves and fruit of water caltrops. If infected water plants are consumed raw or undercooked, the flukes can infect pigs, humans, and other animals. Bicornin is an elegitanin found in T. bicornis. Thanks for watching.